So why am I in Dundee in Scotland in the middle of February? A very good question. I came to Dundee originally on a genealogy project but I found the place so fascinating I thought I'd better do a program about it. It's great architecture, intriguing history and the museums all came as a bit of a surprise. When you combine that with the facilities they've got for tourists as well, it really is one of the best destinations in Scotland. I was also surprised by all the art in the museums and the bronze statues which are jotted all over the town, especially the Dundee Dragon. So let me show you some of the interesting places I found. The new V&A Museum has won an awful lot of awards for its building and construction. Although not all Dundonians would agree the money was well spent. And it was opened by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The V&A Museum is free to get in, but you do have to pay for some of the displays which are on throughout the year. Right next door to this unusual museum is a boat which is absolutely steeped in history. Discovery that Scott of the Antarctic was on. Discovery was built in Dundee in 1900 as a research vessel because at the time Dundee was regarded as one of the best shipbuilding ports in the UK. After an awful lot of restoration work, it's now moored back in Dundee where it was first built. Within walking distance of the Discovery is another very old ship built in 1824, the Unicorn. The masts were never put on this ship, so it's never really sailed, which of course has helped in its preservation. So the building behind me is the McManus Art Gallery and Museum. And not only is it a beautiful building, but it's free to get in. Absolutely amazing. This museum is full of contemporary art, artifacts, ancient ruins, pieces of local history, Just incredible. You really need a bit of time to wander around this place. It's amazing. Of course Dundee is a city so it's got to have a cathedral hasn't it? I always find churches particularly interesting but it's amazing when someone's playing the piano. And I really take my hat off to street buskers like this guy.
If you were to ask any Dundonian, what is Dundee famous for? They'll say the three J's, jut, jam and journalism. Years ago, lots of the wealth came to Dundee from something called jut. Jut is what we would call in England um, Hessian or Hessian sacking. We've come to the Vedant, Vedant works where there's a museum for showing you how it all worked. Over a hundred years ago, over 50,000 people worked in the mills, most of them women. Feels like goat hair. It's a really modern museum, uh, this Vedant works, and but it shows you the machinery that they had sort of a hundred years ago when it was a, a popular business. Now there's nowhere in Britain that does this. It's all made in India and Bangladesh, apparently. Dundee's jam fame came from the Kaler's family. Janet and James Kaler, her son, produced the first British marmalade in the 1760s, apparently and it became a world famous brand. Over a hundred years ago, David Cooper Thompson established a publishing company in Dundee. The company published The Courier, The Evening Telegraph and The Sunday Post and a cartoon strip which was started in 1936 called The Bruins with Ura Willie became so famous that it also led to the publications of the comics The Dandy, The Beano and others. There's now over 2,000 people work in the company, and this is why there are bronze comic characters all over the city. And that's why they say there's jut, jam and journalism. Dundee is actually built on the slopes of an extinct volcano. They call it the Lure or Lure. It's the site of a war memorial now, from the top you get a great view over the city and you can see the estuary, the old railway bridge and even as far as Brotty Ferry Castle. So this is Brotty Castle, Brotty. I think I've said that right. And like many places and castles and museums in Scotland, it's free to get in. The castle, although small, has a very interesting display of art and artefacts. Brofty Ferry, or Brotty Ferry, in fact the locals just call it Ferry, is a little seaside town just outside of Dundee. It's got a few pubs, good restaurants, and you might find a bit of Scottish entertainment. If there's one thing I've loved the most about Dundee, it's probably the people and their hospitality. Well, it's been a very interesting but short visit to Dundee. If you've enjoyed my film, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.